Severn Trent Environment Services has operated the Elkton Wastewater Treatment Plant for 14 years now. I'm certain that the new plant will present some new opportunities for the company to continue its success in meeting all the regulatory permits associated with the plant. I'd like to ask Mr. Jeff Daltrick, Severn Trent Services, to say a few words about the plant. Jeff. Thank you. Well, first let me say uh, a note of uh, thanks to the town of Elkton for the ability to be of service here dating back to 1993, I think it was. And uh, I can recall uh, shortly before our arrival here some uh, editorials and uh, cartoons that would show up in the Cecil wig that would show a, uh, a picture of the compost shed with one of those little tree air fresheners sort of hanging over it with a caption that said, uh, welcome to the Elkton Sewage Treatment Plant. And I think it's safe to say that uh, the facility as it stands today has come quite a long ways from, from the days of, uh, of, of long ago. And uh, again, on behalf of Severn Trent, let me allow, or allow me to thank uh, Stearns and Wheeler and Galloway Bay for uh, working so closely with us during the construction period, the phasing of the new equipment, and the integration of the new units into service. And uh, as Thor has said, the, uh, the results, I think, speak for themselves. And certainly as an organization, uh, we at Severn Trent would be remiss if we did not uh, thank Ken Benner and his staff for the excellent job that they do here managing and operating the plant. And as, as Thor had mentioned, I think the results speak for themselves. So how about a round of applause for Ken and his crew? At this point, I'd like Ken Benner and Mayor Fazona to come to the podium, please. Mayor, last week I was down at the Maryland Royal Water Association Convention down in Ocean City, and uh, we received this war award, and this award is for the wastewater system of the year for the town of Elkton. Wow. And it's with great honor that I'd like to present this award to you and the commissioner on a job well done. Well, you guys did the work, so we appreciate everything you did. You run the plant, but thank you. It's definitely a team. Very good. Appreciate it. We'll keep hanging it down. If you want to hang it down hall, you guys want to keep it here. It's your flag. You All right. We, we can put it down <laughs> downtown. All right. Thank you Thanks, very guys. much. <laughs> Given our need for a rather large sum of money to construct our new treatment plant, I absolutely want to acknowledge the invaluable assistance of the Maryland Department of the environment for both grant funds and our low interest loan. State grant funds, $16,024,410. And a state revo revolving loan funds for $22,022,000, which provided the needed capital for engineering and construction. I'd like to ask Mr. Wayleaf Safari, Project Director, Engineering and Capital Project Program, Office of the Budget and Infrastructure Financing for a few words regarding the MDA's financial assistance. Good afternoon. Uh, first, I would like to congratulate the town on the new treatment plant. It's, uh, this is the best technology you can get in terms of wastewater. Um, it's uh, designed to achieve 3 milligram per liter in total nitrogen and 0 0.3 milligram per liter in phosphorus. Uh, what that means to the bay and to the uh, and to the um, to, to the Big Elk River, uh, we're looking at 138,000 pounds of nitrogen less uh, or reduction that is going to the river and ultimately the bay. Uh, we're looking at uh, 16,000 pounds per year of phosphorus that reduction going to, uh, to the Big Elk River and ultimately the Chesapeake Bay. Uh, this reduction will contribute to uh, hugely to the water quality of the river and the Chesapeake Bay. Uh, 
Need to remo removal at Alton Wastewater Treatment Plant is essential to the success of Maryland efforts to achieve the needed reduction uh, in order to achieve the goals under the tributary strategy and the upcoming uh, uh, Chesapeake Bay-wide uh, total maximum daily loading that will be done by the US EPA. Uh, we thank the town for working with us on this project and we look forward to working with you on many projects to come. Thank you. I'd additionally like to acknowledge a grant of $1,348,300 from the United States Environment Protection Agency. Before we start our tour of the plant, I'd like to ask Senator Mike Miller, Delegate Saucy, Commissioner Mary Jo Zubonsi, Commissioner Earl Piner, Commissioner Charles Gibbons, former Commissioner Gary Stewart, Thor Young, Kevin George, Greg Maylard, Jeff Duker, Ken Benner, Whaley for Safari to help us cut the ribbon and officially dedicate this plant. Okay, so I want to thank you all for coming and then we'll have a tour of the plant um, right after the dedication. Thank you.